Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me Zoe, and yeah, in today's video I am going to be, first of all, trying to, see I literally just did, trying to breathe through my nose, because I can, and yeah, I'm just so used to having like constant allergies, that I feel like it's hard to breathe through my nose when I'm talking now, so I'm gonna try, and um, hope to see if it goes well, because you know, I feel like it's really hard. Um, <laughs> like I literally, okay, we're not gonna focus on that because it's really bothering me. But anyways, uh, yeah, I have things to smell and I'm going to be showing you guys my fall or summer to fall transitional fine fragrance mist. And then after this video, you'll see my summer to fall transitional perfumes. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So. The first one is like a set, or one's a dupe, one's a real thing. Um, this is Sol de Janeiro's Brazilian Crush Tarosa 62 and Bath & Wonder's Vacation Vibe with Pistachio and Amber. So these are dupes of each other. They smell, I would say, almost identical. Um, yeah. I gotta spray this one out. I haven't sprayed this in a while. I mean, yeah. If anything, this one's a little sweeter. This one's a little more like strong and perfumey. This is definitely a tad sweeter, but they're almost exactly the same thing. So I think these are both perfect um, summer to fall transitional fragrances because, you know, they just. They're not too sweet where it's like a fall gourmand per se, but they're not like so summery where it's like a tropical scent. It's like the perfect middle sweet scent that's not like gourmand gourmand. So I think it's perfect for, I would say like August to September where it's still gonna be warm out. Um, and you still want something that's a little lighter than like something super like thick. And rich um yeah i feel like this would be a good option so there's that i definitely like this one as well because you can use it in your hair at least it says so i think so i feel like i looked like that looked it up online and they said you can use it in your hair so yeah anyways <laughs> if you can't um definitely don't but yeah there's that okay moving on i have a bath my experience this is Honeycomb, the Honeycomb Perfume Mist from Bath Muddy Works. So it says, fragrance with notes of sweet shea and golden honey for a warm, addictive scent. This is, that's what happening literally all day. I need to tie the straps tighter, but <laughs> it's like hard, hard to do that by myself. So yeah, or it's hard to do it when it's on by myself. I can like take it off and tie the straps and then put it back on, but they're never like even, you know? Anyways, this is a very soft, like shea butter and honey lightly fragrance scent it'd be perfect for people who don't like want a lot of scent you can only handle certain small amounts of fragrance before it gives you headaches this is like a perfect scent for you guys because i'm like that sometimes as well um it's beautiful it's very soft it's not too warm but it is slightly warm so yeah it's just i think it's perfect for moving from um summer to fall so there's that one. I have another honey mist. This is Pink's Hair and Body Mist in the fragrance Honey. So apparently says this one you can't spray on here. So I guess we'll see. But so I gotta put this on my skin because I can't smell it in the cat very well. So I feel like I can't smell it. What the heck? Oh, there you go. Okay. So this one is more like a golden. Like, if you've ever seen whipped honey, like, imagine, like, a creamy honey scent. Like, honey with kind of, like, a very soft, creamy note. That's what this smells like. It's just a very light honey scent with a very soft, creamy note. So, again, that perfect, like, not too warm scent for, um, you know, summer to fall. I feel like it'd be great if you want something more toned down. Not very strong. But just a very light, soft, warm scent that... Would still be fine in the hot weather but it's also good going into cooler weather so i think this would be perfect for that 
Okay, moving on to a few Beth Lyric Smiths. First, I have Ivory Cashmere. This is not one of my my personal favorite scents, but I do know a lot of people like it. I think scents are so light and beautiful. Okay, <laughs> I know a lot of people like it, and I do think it is a perfect transitional scent. So, the notes are Fresh Like Set Air, Silver Musk, and White Amber. It's just beautiful. Um, like, it is a beautiful scent. Like I just said, it is beautiful, but it's just not something I prefer to wear every day of myself, just because it is more of that clean, almost hint of cologne vibe, but still like soft and um, airy. It's like a soft, airy hint of masculine, but it's not really masculine. Yeah, if you like fra fragrances, like in the stars and stuff like that, you'll like this. But it's a very breezy, like summer to fall. Like where it's breezy outside, it's a little warm, but it's not cool, but it's not like 90, you know what I mean? That kind of weather. This is perfect for that. So that is ivory cashmere. Next is a coffee scent, because it doesn't really smell like coffee. This is vanilla mocha creme. It has notes of cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. It is it's not very coffee forward you definitely get more of the creamy lactonic vibe and the tonka bean which is perfect especially if you don't want something super like fall-esque um in the beginning of summer not the beginning late <laughs> late summer to the beginning of fall that's better um i feel like it definitely it's just a very universal scent like you could wear it any time of the year it's just a nice creamy soft tonka not much coffee at all it's just a really pretty like everyday scent that's very warm and comforting comforting but not like gourmand or anything too heavy for a late summer so i feel like that's why it's perfect um another one is cloud nine from bath mind works this has notes of lavender breeze morning dew drops and cozy amber So this has always given me a, I don't know what, what in this gives me this note, but I've always gotten a slight fruity note from this. Yeah, I feel like there's always a slight fruity note in this, and it is a really pretty, pretty, pretty fruity note. Um, yeah, it's just airy and soft. You get the lavender, it's a sweet lavender, but it's not very strong in the lavender. There's a hint of like an ambery note, and it's just very like fluffy and yeah. It's a good scent. Um, if you like one of those fresh scents, but not something super fresh, you'd really enjoy this, especially for our summer into fall. I feel like it's perfect when it starts to cool down. It's like low 70s, high 60s, that type of vibe. It's like the perfect scent. Same thing with this one. Same vibe here. This is Cozy Evening from Bath Butterks as well. Uh, the notes are Lavender Blooms, Fresh Freesia, and Cozy Musk. Yeah, it's really pretty as well. So it's in the same, like category as cloud nine where it's that is there lavender here there is <laughs> um that like musky clean airy yet soft and warm scent so this one you can definitely smell the lavender a little more there's no fruity note but yeah, these two are very similar um except for the fruity note and this one has more musk so i like them both and i feel like it's perfect for that time where it's just starting to cool down but you still want something a little fresh but also something slightly warm so okay uh, I think I'll just finish up with my three uh, Bath & Myrick scents, and then we'll finish that out with my Victoria's Secret pink scents. So here's another Bath & Myrick's one. This is Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. I feel like I have random allergies every time I do these videos. It's probably from smelling so much perfume in such a like concentrated amount of time. Yeah, we're just gonna deal with it. Anyways, this has notes of suede petals, soft sandalwood, and vanilla bean. So this is like a fresh floral vanilla. But it still does have that like slightly smoky tonka vanilla bean aspect. There's a woody note in here, but it's not like it's very strong. You also get that vanilla and the hint of the vanilla florals. Which is a really pretty scent. Perfect for summer to fall in my opinion. Okay, next is Cashmere Glow. This has notes of golden peach, lily petals, shimmering vanilla, and cashmere musk. 
Now this one is one that is a little more perfumey on the perfumey side. It is still beautiful. Yeah, it's still beautiful. You really get that soft, creamy, like, cashmere scent. But then it dries down. You get a hint of that, like, golden peach. It's just beautiful. I think it's perfect. It's very, like, dressy in a way. Like, you could definitely wear this to, like, a nighttime, late summer event. It'd be really pretty. So, I recommend Cashmere Glow for a summer to fall traditional scent. Last but not least, <laughs> one of my favorite scents recently. I remember what last time I used it. This is Golden Eclipse from Bath Metrics. Notes of glowing berries, shimmering blossoms, and sun warmed woods. Mm, it's so good. It is a bright citrus. You get the woods, but it's very light. And you get those berries in the background. It's absolutely beautiful. The woodiness and the berries gives it that like transitional to fall vibe, but the citrus keeps it bright and airy. It's just beautiful. So yes, highly recommend if you had this one to pull it out for like August is to September. Okay, now I have uh one fragrance mist from pink and then three from Tori Seager. So we'll go pink first. This is from last year's like I don't know, this is like early fall. This is either early or late fall this came out, but it was somewhere last year fall. Uh so this is vanilla clouds. It has notes of cottonwood and toasted hazelnut. Oh, and this is actually a upcycled vanilla extract. So it says they take vanilla that would have been discarded and give it a second life in this fragrance. So, yeah, it says cottonwood and toasted hazelnut. I have smelled this uh, multiple times since buying it um, for, like, videos and stuff like that. And I don't remember there being a hazelnut. No, that's very prominent. But, yeah, it's not super, like, nutty or anything. But you do get that, like, vibe from Trosa 62 where it's, like, that like nutty vibe you can't really tell it's like a nutty scent like if you, they didn't tell you that you wouldn't be able to describe it very well if you know what i'm saying and it does have that airy fluffy like woody cottonwood note um the cottonwood trees are actually the like worst type of tree <laughs> they they like look, make basically little fluffy balls of with like their seeds on it and they blow around and they give me such bad allergies my dad too like such a bad <laughs> allergy thing so um those trees are horrible but um it does smell really good. So you get like, yeah, it's like that nutty aspect, but you can't really tell it's nutty. It's like very subtle, but still a strong scent. There's vanilla. It smells really good. And that breezy cotton one. So very excited to wear this one sometime soon. And perfect for summer to fall since it's not too like woody. Okay. Three Victoria's, Me Victoria's Secret mist to go over. This is Victoria's Secret's Love Spell Golden. This has notes of honey, vanilla, sparkling nectarine, and it says love spell golden hour, which doesn't help at all, but okay. I'm in the air. So this is really pretty. So this smells like um if you took pretty the peach from Math Moderics and mixed it with like a honey, like a sweet honey scent with some vanilla. It's really pretty. It's not as bright and fresh as pretty as a peach from Math Moderics, but more of like a baked peach and a honey scent it's beautiful it's still fresh and peachy but also a hint of that sweet vanilla honey scent so it is perfect for summer to fall okay two more next i have one of my favorites from victoria's secret this is orange flower sun it says citrus blossom blossoms awaken blush woods and bubblegum petals so you guys know i love this one it was in a product used up a little bit ago that's why it has um, some pretty good usage. It's like right there. It's so good. So it has that hint of bubblegum. It really does have that hint of bubblegum. It's so beautiful. It has little florals. I'm guessing it's tuberose because it is like a bubblegummy floral. It has that orange blossom and that citrusy note. It's really pretty. So yeah, it is a very summery scent, but it has that like hint of floral aspect, which makes it perfect for early fall as well. So yeah, I love this one too. Okay, now last but not least from Victoria's Secret, and then the last of this video too. This is Victoria's Secret's Wild Fig and Manuka Honey. Like delight is the line name. It says delight in the scent of wild fig and manuka honey, bot botanical inspiration and sweet embrace. This is from their natural line. Um, but easy. 
fragrance mist nonetheless this one's really pretty so you do get like a powdery not too powdery but powdery sweet honey note with like almost a green fig it's a very interesting scent it's not super sweet per se but it is very honey like more like wildflower honey than like um just plain honey yeah it's just powdery honey and like a green fig scent really good perfect again for um summer to fall this is giving kind of like the same vibe as honey wildflower but a little more powdery so yeah good choice so yes that was everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed my summer to fall transitional fragrance mist picks and yeah let me know your favorite one that you've been using or your favorite one out of here if you haven't gotten to like the fall transitional scents yet so yeah thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you later bye